Well, hello. So this message goes out to Warner Brother executives at the DC Universe. You know that whole marriage of DC Warner Brothers that they're pushing out with Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, all the other people coming out. You know, here's some advice. If you want to, you know, have some left hooks that you're like, what? And fans will be like, oh my God, this is what we needed. Grace Randolph. Just one name. Grace. Have some grace in your movie. Yes. Um, in your whole entire unit, have her run the entire thing. This is why. Grace Randolph is a huge fan of comic books. She probably knows everything about everyone in every single universe. <laughs> Be like, now we can't do that. You know what I mean? Um, she also has created her own universe, Superbia. Grace Randolph, <laughs> Superbia. I believe that's how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong in a video. I'm going to give you some homework, Grace. Don't feel like I let you out. <laughs> Well, this one, Warner Brothers. Your homework is I agree, Grace. So she's got a huge YouTube fan base. She's seen the whole entire world. I've watched her videos ninety nine point ninety nine 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 infinity times. She is right. She is right on the money. And I see you watch her videos. You go, oh, I see. She knows the math. She knows what's down. She knows what's up. She knows the concrete mathematics of. You know, she knows uh, who loves what and what do they love and what do they love about them, even though I may not agree. But I totally see, like, she's got a brain. Like, she's a super genius in regards to the whole universe. She is the guide up to the for you, literally. She's the guide. Now, a lot of people are thinking, well, who's Grace Randolph? It's like, well, I mean, including a link to who Grace Randolph is. And you can follow her on her videos and find out more about her. Why, why, why do I make a video on Grace Randolph? Why do I love Grace? Grace, don't, don't be scared. I'm not like, I'm like I just would like to play the Joker at one point. Uh, <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so what I'm saying, the reason why I love Grace is I suffer from depression. And so, you know, having Grace, having that communication, having the fans, having them communicate with Grace, me allowing my voice to be heard, beautiful. Her gathering the information of all the people, beautiful, beautiful. As Grace, ran, as Fred Emerson would say in Portlandia, beautiful. <laughs> so, let me know in the comment section down below what season that's from. So, um, Grace, just for various different issues, and also because of what's happening with the scandals, with the women and everything, and the sexual harassment, it's like, ah, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's good, it's good that the things are bubbling forward and we're knowing everything and things are being revealed. But we need also a ground root for a new world, for a deeper understanding of the Hollywood industry. And I believe, I know in my heart, because you can see it in Grace's communication with her fans and how she loves the movie industry, what it does and what it can do. So I believe that giving her the reins to that particular franchise would just lift all of our hearts. It would be on the co cover on the cover of Variety, cover of GQ, cover of all the things everywhere. Be like, you know, uh, you two, nobody becomes a super somebody. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm sure if you, and we were all YouTube nobodies. I don't know. What's Grace? What's your backstory? I don't know. You know, I picked you up when um, the whole flip, you know, Marvel and you and, and the whole thing, situation with that. But I believe the DC... This is what, you know, we're going for. And I think that, I'll be honest with you, I love the franchise, love feminism, went to the Women's March. Did I go pay full price to see Wonder Woman? No. <laughs> Did I tell a bunch of people, you got to go see Wonder Woman everywhere? I, my family members, I think, all went like five times. <laughs> Do I own a copy of Wonder Woman? No. <laughs> so, you know. I think that that's, you know, have I seen Justice League? No. <laughs> so, you know, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Is that in order to rally people, there are people that are really, really, really excited because of very different financial reasons, you know, uh, excitement reasons. You know, it's just like, am I going to pay to sit for two hours to maybe like it? I don't know. But if Grace Randolph came into the picture, I'll be like, I know I'm going to like it. <laughs> I know because this person has done her homework, her super duper homework. Like this is like not brain surgery. <laughs> this is not brain surgery. Now people may be thinking to themselves, this is totally out of left field. Like this is completely not someone that we've even thought about. Maybe we watched her on YouTube and worked with her in various forms, but we never really fathom that someone like this could run a company. And, and well, not a company, but you know that that franchise element. 
And I say to that, that that's what we need, that that's really what we need right now, that that's those bold moves that companies are willing to make, be like, what's up? This is our playing field. This is our, we bust out the queen and she can move anywhere because she knows all the moves. So that's what I'm saying to Warner Brothers. Grace, so with that being said, your homework, Grace, is please make me a video. If I was like, hmm, I am the Lord of DC, I'm like, I'm going to pick you. Grace, what would you do? What would you do? How would you follow it? Or else? Like, uh, if you were the CEO, you know, what would you do with the whole franchise? Who would you cast? What would you do? What movies? And make a portfolio and show it to them. Maybe like, this is, this is what's up. This is what's up. This is what I do. Because you are an amazing, amazing human being who has gathered so many fans. So many people love you. You have the heart. We can see it. The way you communicate with the fans. That love of movies. I, as an actor, as a comedian, I love, love movies with entertainment. The entity. You know, um, I think with the scandals and the X-Men the situation, it's like, oh, that's so painful. Because I love the X-Men and that. You know, those elements that have been bridged, you know, some of you, it's an open secret. I'm just going to say that. It's an open secret, right? It's an open secret. <laughs> Google an open secret. It's an open secret. <laughs> so, you know, so all those elements, I think, that have moved us away from the beautiful, beautiful elements that movies can do. And Warner Brothers, you know, you got nothing. You got nothing marring you right now. You got, you know, you're in the clear. So make that right now that we're the we're gonna make that bold move and plow on through and people are gonna be like whoa and Disney's gonna be like yeah who is that so wired on fire down of the entire building right now why don't we have her have that by the way I love you all I wanna wish you a wonderful 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 eternity.